And here is our timeline for the project, and it demonstrates timely completion. I'll now turn it over to David for the project. And I'm sorry. I'll now turn it over to David and as he does our results and discussion section. Thank you, Crystal. So You're let's welcome. dive right in. So these are the absolute scores for both correct and incorrect responses to the knowledge base questions on the pre versus post tests. The pre-test and post-test correct response data are highlighted in orange and yellow, respectively. This is a bar graph highlighting the percentage of correct responses on the pre versus post-tests. The pre-test scores are highlighted in blue and the post in orange. As you can see, all question items showed an improvement, some vast and some modest, from pre to post-test. The items exhibiting the highest degree of positive change dealt with length of retention from video learning and recommended number of providers on the COVID intubation team. We performed a paired two sample t test to compare the pre and post test mean scores to assess for statistical significance. Circled in dark blue are the mean scores of both tests. The pre test overall mean score was 71.38% and the post test was 88.95%. Circled in light blue is the p-value derived from the two-tailed t-test, which resulted in 0.03. Therefore, utilizing the standard significance level of 0.05, we are able to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the mean scores on the post-test were statistically significantly higher than the mean scores on the pre-test. <laughs> Shown here are the pie charts representing the results from the qualitative questions, which were items number 11 through 13 on the post-test. Question 11 asked respondents if they felt the presentation was clear and easy to follow. 91% strongly agreed and 9% agreed, with no one rating the item any lower on the Likert scale. Question 12 asked respondents if they felt the presentation was helpful to their practice as a provider. As you can see, 83% strongly agreed and 17% agreed, with no one designating any lower rating than agreed. And question 13 asked if respondents would share the video with their friends or colleagues. 82% strongly agreed, 9% agreed, and 9% were neutral with no lower ranked responses, keeping in mind that only two respondents were neutral to the prompt. These are the graphical representations of our responses to the demographic items on the pretest, questions 9 and 10. Here's a bar graph displaying the age groups with most respondents being uh, between the ages of 33 and 40. And this is a pie chart illustrating the different nursing special specialties of their respondents. The majority of test takers were from an anesthesia background accounting for 59% of the total responses. Shown here are the collected 